optimize logic pair um, since my crappy MacBook Pro doesn't want to play nice with OBS I figured I'd hand cam um, the results of this board repair this is a 820-2936 board came in with no power and it was dropped when I plugged it in it was drawing about 20 milliamps and I measured all the power rails I measured PB3V42, uh, PP bus G3 hot, PP VRTC G3 hot. So all the G3 hot r rails were present. Um, but when I got to PP5 ES5, which is created by this chip here, can't get too close because of the shadow. Seems like nothing wants me to record a video to be helpful. This chip here is U7200. It's uh, TPS50125. That creates. 5 volt and a 3.3 volt power rail and there's a, a dual MOSFET or a dual transistor here that has enable or end trip pins on it anyway I measured PP5 ES5 via this capacitor right here and it was oscillating it was going from 5 volts down to 3 volts and it would go up to 5 back down to 3 doing it really rapidly same with the 3 volt power or 3.3 volt rail it was going up and down up and down originally i blamed this and i replaced it q7221 i think it is i replaced that still didn't do anything so then i attacked uh u7200 and it wasn't U7200, this is actually a new chip I soldered on and replaced it and it wasn't that. So then, you know, I started measuring other power rails and I was curious and I saw this capacitor here, decided to measure and I found a short, it was short to ground, so that was, that's a PP5VS3. And so I removed this capacitor and I injected uh, one volt at 8 amps and so the board was dissipating almost five watts of heat which means something was getting really hot well if you come way over here this big I see here I don't remember the the code to it but this is the audio chip and there's a capacitor Let's see if I can zoom in this works much better than my MacBook it's missing but there is a big capacitor here at that this side is on PP5VS3 shorted to ground so when I put alcohol on it it was bubbling and hissing and it, immediately it would disappear so I desoldered this capacitor and I turned the board on and I would get I would then get a fan spin so now the board is working and I wanted to apologize to U7200 for blaming you as well as uh, Q7221. I'm sorry I blamed you. I should have paid attention to the fact that instead of having zero volts on PP5VS5 and PP3VS, PP3V3S3, instead of having zero volts, which on those two, and then I also had P, uh, SMC PMG2EN was present which means SMC was sending that to a Q7941 I think it is so that was working so then if this was zero volts then coming out of this chip I should have blamed U7200 but the fact that it was oscillating it was going from 5 volts to down to 3 and back up back down back up and the fact that hindsight now I know that PP th PP5 ES3 was shorted what was happening was the computers trying to go from an S5 to an S3 state and every time it would get to the S3 power rails it would then short the ground and it would start over and go from S5 to S3 and is doing it rapidly so I just wanted to make people aware of that so if you have a board like this 
This is an A20-2936 from a 2010 or 2011 MacBook Pro unibody, 13 inch. Anyway, if you get one of these boards and you're testing that and you see that happening, it could be, you know, a power state above the one that you're thinking it is or that you get to. So, you know, I was measuring an S5 power power rail, which you measure after G3 hot. And so that was oscillating. It wasn't gr short to, z or it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't zero volts like shorted, or I mean zero volts. So, you know, if this was shorted to ground, then I would definitely blame this chip, or it could have been this chip, or a capacitor, or this capacitor. But the fact that it was going five volts down to three, back up to five, like doing that rapidly, means something else further down the line was actually shorted. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm just going to replace this capacitor and this board will be working again. So anyway, I just want to do share that. I did an hour and 30 minute long repair video on this. However, OBS decided it didn't want to work and ruined the video. So my, you can hear me talking in my voice and you can hear the soldering, the hot air station, everything going. You can hear me rationalizing and talking things out, but the video is just atrocious. It's like, it was like my computer dropped down to like two frames a second or something and it's just not usable. So unfortunately you can't see me actually do the repair and the testing and everything, but I thought I would just at least record a short video so I can upload it to my channel and you can still see that my rationale for or how I actually figured out how to fix this logic board so anyway hope you found this maybe useful at all um, and I'll catch you on the next video I'm in the middle of trying to build a desktop a powerful desktop PC so I can actually record videos properly um, this is now the fourth video that's been ruined by I'm not sure because I'm not a professional video blogger so I'm not sure if it's OBS or if it's the fact that my computer cannot handle OBS but it's this is the fourth really good video repair that I've done that it's ruined and so I can't upload the video um, so now I'm deciding to do this on this one because I'm frustrated so anyway hope you found this useful anyway see you in the next video